Hi, Jen and Casey here with another Fusion Online video. Today we're talking about all about articulation. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at the mat bridge. And the mat bridge is something we see all the time in the studio, right? It's taught a lot. In group mat classes, we see it a lot. And then on the different pieces of equipment, there's always mat variations on every piece of equipment that we have. So learning how to do a really awesome bridge is a very important mm -hmm. <laughs> part of Pilates. And to be able to do a very nice fluid bridge, you have to know where your anchor points are, and then you have to be able to really fluidly move through the spine. So we're gonna look at that today. So we're setting Casey up. She's in her neutral spine, neutral pelvis and she has her nice parallel feet and legs. And so this, from the beginning, the anchoring of the feet um, is a very important part. So you wanna make sure that they're really feeling all four points of their feet, their inner arches are pulled up, and they're parallel. So from here, press your triceps and your hands down into the floor because those are also gonna be anchor points along with the top of the shoulders and the back of the head. Now on the exhale, you're gonna to start to roll like a water wheel. Your spine's gonna come up and I want you to pour the bones of the legs into the bones of the feet into the mat. Good, so all the work here is in the legs. The spine should feel pretty free in this um, exercise. And then on the exhale, that water wheel again, we wanna drop down from between the shoulder blades through the middle of the spine finding the top of the sacrum, and then going all the way down into the tip of the tailbone. Very good. All right, so you also wanna see and watch what side of the spine they're going down more. And a lot of people will favor one side or the other. All right, so what I saw with Case is just a little bit more on this left side. Mm -hmm. So, how do we remedy that? So what tools can we use? If we keep seeing that and we keep cueing them, but that's all that we're seeing, nothing ever changes, well, you gotta get your props out. So here, the first thing I'm gonna do, you can stay on okay. your back, the first thing I'm gonna do is use our wedge pillow. So I might use this for people who are not finding the correct position when they come down into their lumbar spine and pelvis, but I also might use this for people who have different back disorders and they're not wanting, I'm not wanting them to, to have such a big range of motion. So you're gonna come on up with your tush, good, and then gently come down. So I'm creating just a little bit of an incline. So I'm starting her bridge for her, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. this is like a little kick start um, to her bridge. So right away I want her to be heavy into the pillow, parallel legs and feet. She's already feeling this nice hammocking of her lower mm -hmm. spine and then reaching into her arms, feet, top of the shoulders and head, she's gonna to start to push that pillow away from her into the back of her knees, pouring her legs and her feet into the mat. Good, and then on the next exhale, she's gonna come down and I want her to find just subtly that right side of the spine, especially as she gets down into her lumbar spine and pelvis, and that pillow is gonna help her find that. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, gently come on off and we'll take that out. So that's one variation that you can use. Um, the other variation is from our mentor, Marie-Jose Bloom. This is the wonderful Smart Spine Track that we could not live without. That this is, is <laughs> so valuable. We use uh, the Smart Spine products all the time in the studio. So here, Casey's gonna go onto her back and her tail is going to be right in the center of that smart spine and she's going to slowly lower herself down one vertebrae at a time. So this smart spine is talking to the musculature on each side of the spine. It's brilliant. So she has tactile feedback as she peels up and off and as she comes back on. So she can really feel if she's putting more weight on one side or the other. So the smart spine really does act as the client's virtual coach. Yeah, I can already feel that I'm leaning on the 
left side. Right, side. right, right. Even laying down, I'm starting to correct. Yes, so this is great, great feedback. So again, we want all those same anchor points. She's going to take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, she's going to start to roll her spine away from the smart spine, pushing the smart spine, imagining pushing it towards your feet with your spine, and the legs again pour into the mat. And now coming down, she can drop one vertebrae at a time, right? And she has that smart spine that's really giving her lots and lots of feedback on her positioning. Good. And then going all the way down into the tip of the tailbone. Very, very good. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Bye.